Hey, how's it going on YouTube? Welcome back to another amazing video and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can improve your FPS and get better performance, more stable and reliable FPS in Monster Hunter Wilds dropped recently. I hope this guide helps you out so make sure to stick around till the end of this video and with all that said, let's get started with the intro. Alright, step number one is the best window settings and for that simply search for settings on your PC and once you are here go down to gaming, head over to game bar and simply turn this thing off. Since it is an overlay application, it consumes a lot of CPU and GPU usage in the background. After that go back to gaming, head over to game mode and turn it on. It will optimize your PC by turning things and applications off in the background helping you to improve your PC's performance. Right after that go down to graphics and then click on the change default graphics settings right over here. Then enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling as well as optimizations for window games as both of them will help you to utilize your graphic card and reduce your input and render latency. Go back to graphics and then click on the browse button over here and add monster hunter in this list. Once done with that simply close your settings. Next step is disabling unwanted background applications and for that simply search for local group policy editor and open up edit group policy in the control panel. Once you are here double click on computer configuration, administrative templates, windows components, app privacy and here you'll find let windows apps run in the background. Simply double click to open it up and then select enable to ensure that this policy is now running. Default for all applications should be set to force deny and then click on ok. This will disable all kind of applications running in the background helping you to save your system's resources. Once that is done, simply close your settings. This video sponsor Sky Coach is just the one for you. Sky Coach offers all kind of coaching, leveling up and improvement for your favorite games. For this game they have monster kills, hunter rank boost, campaign boost, coaching, hourly driving and a lot of other things right over here. Simply select a service and then click on order now. Once you click on buy now and make the payment, the pro will connect to you via chat and will help you to start the service. I have used Sky Coach for myself for Fortnite Battle Pass boost or World of Warcraft leveling or Genshin Impact character leveling and I was pretty satisfied with their services. Sky Coach is completely safe and the reviews are awesome. Sky Coach also offers coaching in almost 30 plus games so if you guys want to use Sky Coach you can find a link to it in the description below and use my code BearFox to get 10% off. Now let's move on. Next step is creating a register point and for that simply search for create a register point on your PC and after that go down to find local disk C. Click on create and name it monster hunter just so you can remember it. I highly recommend you guys how to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any kind of data loss. Once that is done simply click on close and close system properties. Next step is the monster hunter wilds FPS pack I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. Simply double click to open it up and you'll find in five simple folders over here. The first folder is CPU priority in which I have left AMD and Intel CPU priority according to your PC. You can simply double click to run them and it will help you to set up the correct devote values for your processor to improve your PC's performance. Second one is monster hunter priority in which I have left above normal high priority and normal priority. For this I would recommend you guys to leave your PC specs down in the comments below. I will tell you which one you need to choose right over here. Third one is RAM optimization and in here I have left a ton of presets according to your PC. I have 32 GB RAM so I need to apply this registry. It could be different for you so I would recommend you guys to check your RAM and apply it according to your PC. Once again if that doesn't work out well you can reset the default all these settings settings back again. Fourth one is the power plan settings in which I have left ultimate performance power plan. Right click and run it as administrator. Then head over to power plans. Then select show additional plans and then over here you will find ultimate performance in this list. Simply select that and then it will disable all kind of power saving features on your USB and hardware helping you to improve this performance. Last one is the useful programs in which I have left clean temporary files. Simply right click and run it as administrator. This will ask you to clean all temporary files and you can press any key and it will start deleting them. These temporary files are completely useless and you can delete it in one click. Next one is MSI mode utility 3.0 and this is for your graphic card. Simply run it as administrator. Once it opens up select your graphic card then click on the MSI button next to it and interrupt priority should be set to high. This will allow your GPU to handle more interrupts helping you to improve a little bit of your GPU's performance. Next is Unpack CPU and it is a super simple application simply double click to open it up. Once you are here you will see enable cores and park cores. Now the difference is windows park the cores which are not in use to save power. To fix this issue you can slide the score parking index all the way up to 100% and then click on apply. Once that is done simply close it and now you guys can see all of the cores are enabled. This will help you to boost your system 
system's performance by a little bit. Simply close the FPS pack. Next step is deanimating windows and for that simply search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows and once you are here select adjust for best performance then click on save taskbar thumbnail previews, show thumbnails instead of icons, go into contents while dragging and smooth edges of screen fonts. All of these options will help you to keep the basic look of your windows intact while disabling all kind of animations on your PC. This might not help you with a lot of FPS but it will help you with the smoother performance of your PC. Once that is done simply click on apply. Next step is right in the advanced tab over here which is the virtual memory. Click on the change button and then select local disk C. For the initial size set it to 1361 and for the maximum size open up a calculator. Now multiply your RAM that is 32 GB for me in this case and multiply it with 1024. This will give you your memory in megabytes. Simply divide this value by 2 and you'll get your memory in megabytes right over here and this value is to be pasted in the maximum size. Then click on set, click on ok and then click on apply. Your PC will utilize this when your RAM is completely utilized and it will use your ROM as your RAM. Once that is done, click on apply and close this. Next step is the best in-game settings and for that you guys can now drop into the game to apply that. Okay, once you're in your game, press your escape key and then head over to settings. Over here, go to options, then head over to your graphic settings. You might see this issue, simply click on close and now F and F to move ahead. Display selection should be your native display and screen mode should be set to borderless window. Screen resolution, I have gone with 1920 by 1080 but you guys can reduce it for extra FPS. Aspect ratio should be automatic. Frame rate limit, you can go ahead with highest available over here. And then uncapped frame rate limit, you have to set it to uncapped. Go back and then you'll find cutscene frame rates, you have to leave everything as it is. VSync should be disabled and NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency should be set to Enable Plus Boost. Head over to your graphic settings over here and then I have gone everything with medium. Upscaling resolution, I have gone with NVIDIA DLSS but if you guys have an AMD graphic card, you can use AMD FSR 3. Upscaling mode, you can go with quality or balanced, both of them give you a very good FPS available in the game. Ray tracing should be turned off. Texture quality, I have gone with high but you guys can go to medium, does not really matter a lot. Texture filtering quality, you can go with low or the lowest one available over here. This might take off some textures from the game but will help you to improve your performance drastically. Mesh quality, go with medium over here and fur quality, go with low. Once that is done, head over to the next page that includes your sky quality and everything. So for the sky quality, go with the lowest available over here. You don't really see the sky every time you are in the game. Grass and tree quality, you guys can go with medium. The sway should be set to disabled, wind simulation low, water effect should be disabled, shadow distance quality low or the lowest one available over here, distance shadow quality low, shadow distance near ambient occlusion or any kind of ambient quality over here you have to automatically set it to low to improve your FPS. Contact shadows disable, you guys can enable it does not really impact your VRAM a lot. Ambient occlusion off. Head over to the next page which has your bloom, motion blur and everything over here. Bloom I have gone with low. Motion blur off. Vignette effects. You guys can keep it on or off. Doesn't really impact a lot. But for the cinematic gameplay I would recommend you guys to go with on. Screen space reflections. You guys have to turn this thing off. And the scattering should be off as well. Depth of field off. Volumetric fog, any kind of thing that is related to your volumetrics, you have to set it to off. Variable rate shading, go with performance over here. And once that is done, go back. And now you guys can enjoy your game with the highest available FPS. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to leave a like and smash it subscribe button for more awesome guides like this. We are really close to 250,000 subscribers and I trust you all. We'll see you in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.